UK is building a new fighter jet that is really advanced, named Tempest. Tempest is a sixth-generation combat aircraft being developed for the UK Royal Air Force as part of the FCAS program, which aims to improve the nation's air combat capabilities in response to evolving threats. The aircraft is being developed by Team Tempest led by Bay Systems, a UK-based aerospace company. Industry partners on the team include Leonardo, an Italian aerospace company, MBDA UK, a division of European missile systems provider MBDA, and Rolls-Royce. The Tempest FCAS aircraft is part of the UK's combat air strategy, which was unveiled in July 2018. The Ministry of Defence awarded Bay Systems a contract worth approximately £250 million, or about $347 million, to design and develop the Tempest FCAS aircraft in July 2021, kicking off the project's concept and assessment phase. The Tempest FCAS aircraft is expected to enter service with the Royal Air Force in 2035. Tempest will be a sixth-generation optionally manned stealth fighter jet that is designed to be connected, flexible, and upgradable in order to keep up with changing threats. The design is expected to include open architecture to allow for future adaptation and enhancement of capabilities. To operate at higher temperatures, the aircraft's airframe will be made of advanced composite materials and additives. The aircraft will be capable of scalable autonomy, allowing for manned, unmanned, and optionally manned operations. The aircraft will have a defensive aid system that can track, target, and intercept incoming missiles. It will be able to support existing, planned, and future weapons such as Meteor, the next generation beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile. Using artificial intelligence and machine learning enhanced software, the weapon effects management system will control the coordination of all weapons on the battlefield. In stealth mode, the aircraft will be able to gain complete control of the battlefield while carrying a significant payload, including next-generation weapons such as directed energy and hypersonic missiles. The fighter aircraft will act as a node in a network of systems that spans all domains of the battlespace. In future conflicts, it will work in tandem with other FCAS systems such as unmanned combat aircraft, civil platforms, satellites, and cybersecurity centers. To provide manned, unmanned flying capabilities, the aircraft will use artificial intelligence, machine learning, and autonomous systems. It is also expected to control drones using swarming technology. It will collect data from various sources in order to generate reliable information that can be shared with other connected aircraft in a combat cloud. Rolls-Royce created Orpheus, a new gas turbine demonstrator engine, for the FCAS program. The advanced power and propulsion system of the aircraft will be aerodynamically designed to optimize overall performance, range, and payload capability. It will be powered by an efficient power system with an intelligent power management system and efficient thermal management to reduce the aircraft's thermal signature. The aircraft will be outfitted with advanced sensors, allowing for the rapid, secure, and resilient exchange of information on the battlefield via combat cloud. The effectors built into the aircraft's sensors will enable it to engage with a variety of non-kinetic effectors such as electronic warfare jamming and directed energy weapons. The effectors will aid in the assessment and evaluation of incoming threats, as well as the management of the deployment of the appropriate method to defeat them. The Tempest system's cockpit will be customizable by pilots wearing head-mounted display helmets, based on the wearable cockpit technology concept. Next-generation augmented and virtual reality interactive cockpit displays and controls will be projected directly in front of the pilot's eyes using the helmets. Other ideas, such as virtual assistance for pilot assistance, are also being tested. More information about the United Kingdom's next-generation air combat program has emerged, with the recent announcement that a demonstrator aircraft will fly within the next five years. 
Bay Systems, which is leading work on the program, has also presented a new model of a potential Tempest configuration, showing a manned fighter that, overall, resembles the United States F-22 Raptor stealth fighter, while its impenage resembles the F-22's competitor, Northrop's YF-23. The latest Tempest concept retains the overall stealthy configuration and moderate to large size of previous concepts. Significant changes have been made to the wing platform, with the Lambda wing being replaced by a cropped delta with an arrow-like trailing edge. The engine intakes, as well as the overall profile of the forward fuselage, now appear to have a lot more in common with the F-22 than previous iterations, which featured a distinctive Pelican nose profile. The tail surfaces are still rudder vitters, as on the YF-23, rather than separate vertical stabilizers and stabilizers, but they are now larger and mounted immediately aft of the trailing edge of the wing. The engine nozzles appear to be well shrouded by the rear fuselage, and the previously visible zinc between them has vanished. The Tempest's capabilities appear to be convincing, at least on paper, though they may be less so once the aircraft is in service. After all, the timeline as it currently stands appears to be extremely ambitious. If, as previously stated, a demonstrator begins flying within the next five years, the time between its first flight and the planned initial operational capability for the production representative Tempest could be as little as eight years. In comparison, the Typhoon took 17 years between the demonstrator's first flight and service entry. While advances in design and engineering should help to close the gap, the fact is that economic realities, combined with the unpredictable nature of non-virtual test work, are likely to present the same kinds of challenges as they have in previous combat aircraft programs. Furthermore, for the program to succeed, it must make a credible case that it provides significant economic benefits and that the money would not be better spent on replenishing the F-35B fleet, investing in unmanned systems, or some of the other big-ticket defense programs competing for scarce funds. <laughs>